Well, I started to develop a fear the longer this went, the bolder he may get, and he may um, consider entering uh, homes, which is a little scary. The Somerset County District Attorney sharing the relief of many tonight after a man accused of breaking into dozens of businesses is behind bars. State police say it has been a long two and a half months, but they believe their investigation is finally nearing its end. Roy Penrose III is only facing charges for one burglary, but police say they plan to file dozens of other charges in the coming days. Maria Miller has been following the story all day, and she's here with the very latest tonight. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, you could see the exhaustion on the faces of state police officers in Somerset today. They've been working extra shifts and staying later for patrols for nearly three months now, trying to catch this man. And when they found him yesterday, they say they also found it. They found everything they needed to prove their case against him. This is 22-year-old Roy Penrose III. He's behind bars tonight, accused of breaking into more than 30 Somerset County businesses, keeping police on their feet for nearly three months. It was a pattern of two, three, four over the, a couple of nights, and then um, no activity for maybe four, five, six days. And then again, another round. But that all ended Wednesday afternoon when police received an anonymous tip. We were able to corroborate that it wasn't just a random, uh, random information. And that's what they went on and developed and ended up at Mr. Penrose's residence. And this is what they found inside, about $500 in cash, 115 packets of heroin, a gun, and most of the items that have been reported stolen from businesses across the county. And if that wasn't enough evidence, police also found these shoes and clothes that they say Penrose was seen wearing on surveillance cameras during the burglaries. Even if, if he wouldn't have given a statement, it's pretty clear that um, the clothing in the surveillance videos match what they found. The details of uh, items that were removed from the properties um, are consistent with what was found. Bottom line is we have to thank the Somerset uh, Station troopers, especially the uh, crime unit. They put a lot of extra time and effort in a lot of their own time in solving these investigations. Now, according to court documents we picked up this afternoon, Penrose has admitted to the burglaries. He's in jail tonight on $75,000 bond, and I should add that police believe he's the only one involved. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. More than 30 burglaries in Somerset County. These dots on the map show the crimes, mostly businesses, targeted now after weeks of frustration and anxiety. The man who police say is responsible is in jail. Pieces of new information would come out on this story from time to time, but really never a smoking gun. Last night, though, investigators got what they needed to file charges. Maria Miller has the details. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, they sure did. Not only did they find their suspect, they found most of the things that had been stolen inside his home. Tonight, those businesses he stole from are certainly relieved, but say they're not about to let their guard down. If you saw him, if he walked in here right now, what would you say to him? I'd like to know how he got in. That puzzles me because he didn't damage anything. Some questions still remain, but there's an overall sense of relief shared among business owners and police in Somerset County after the arrest of Roy Penrose III. The man police say has burglarized over 30 businesses since August. We did get a tip from Crime Stoppers yesterday, which essentially corroborated information that we had with regard to the break ins and led. Uh, to the apprehension of Mr. Penrose. Take a look. This is what police found inside Penrose's Freedom's home on Wednesday. A large amount of cash and drugs, as well as several safes and items that were reported stolen, like hundreds of lottery tickets from Blancet's Hardware in Stoystown. The trooper thought maybe that would be his downfall when he tried to cash the lottery tickets, mm -hmm. except the fact that we have to activate them. And we didn't have them activated, so he couldn't use them. But police say their biggest clue were the clothes and shoes seen in the surveillance video from one of the burglaries that they found inside Penrose's home. Even if, if he wouldn't have given a statement, it's pretty clear that Do they release those? Uh, the clothing in the surveillance videos match what they found. There's going to be more of it because people need money for drugs and that's the easiest way to get it, to steal it. 
Now, state police say there are charges pending against Penrose for at least 30 other burglaries. He's in jail on $75,000 bond tonight. In the meantime, police say their investigation is ongoing as there could still be more businesses involved. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. Long 4th.